I'm starting the propagation for my bonsai trees that's for the yard. I took off a lot of the limbs here because um, I didn't want the energy to go to the green of these leaves instead of going to making roots. So I took off most of them. I left the top here. Like I, you can see this was a pretty good size limb for a bonsai. But I wanted to try to do the whole thing. I took off quite a bit of the bark of it. And especially around the little tiny knot areas that was in it. Because a lot of times with most any trees that you're propagating, if you can see the little white knots that pop up on trees and stuff, and if you take off the bark that's around those, they have a better shot at rooting than they do if you're just scraping off bark in random areas of it. Like, you can see these little knots in the bark. I just take and scrape the bark off with my razor knife at those areas like that and you can see where they were and hopefully like with all the other trees that I've done that I've done that with they have rooted really well so now I'm going to take and I'm going to get this wet because I'm going to take and I'm going to put some rooting compound on this That does give it another, even better shot at taking root, like I said. So I do everything possible to help it do that. Um, I am using take root rooting hormone on these. And hopefully, they'll root for me. And I'll come back in a two, three months and show y'all the progress on this. I took and dusted some of that up there with the rooting hormone too. So I'll stick it down there as far as I can. And we'll fill this pot up with dirt. This dirt is a mix of my compost that I've made myself in the past year. And a bottle that has um, vermiculite already in it. I'm trying to pat that down around it so that it helps stabilize it some. And I am going to put a um rod here and hook this tree to it to kind of give it stability while it's trying to take root that's something else i will do with it um but i wanted y'all to see how i'm gonna propagating for this little tree and um i think i read where it takes two to three months for it to really take any roots at all on it so, I may actually be waiting five or six months. Um, the reason I left the green on here is I wanted to leave a little bit on there so I can tell if it's staying alive or if it's dying too. Because if those start dying off, then I know it's it's not going to live. And I just tell it, go ahead and toss that one out. But for the most part, on most trees that I do, I generally take all the green off of them. Because if they take root, then... I know there's going to be green coming on them, but I will water this in good here in just a few minutes, and I will brace it, and I will show y'all the rooting system of it in anywhere from three to six months, but I'm going to do a couple of more of them, so if i got a better chance of getting them, I'm doing some of them. I'm going to try to root in some water. This water looks dirty, but it's just because it's got the stuff on it from the tree. But I'm going to try to root some in water, too, and see how that how that works. Don't know if it'll work or not, but I'm going to try it. But, okay, that's all for today.